uh, fetched from Gujarat. Now viewers, move to moving our focus to other developments that are taking place as the uh, tensions between India and Canada are on in fact uh, on a rise and escalating ties which are uh, in fact not hinting at a good relations between the two nations as several reports have also been released of the USA suspending the Indian diplomats from the High Commission in line with the Canada following tensions in Can India and Canada relations. The USA State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller has said that I am not aware of any such developments. Let's now listen. Sir, after the killing of Sikh leader Hadi Singh Nija in Canada by Indian agents, Canadian authorities expelled all Indian agents serving in the uh, Indian High Commission. And there are some unconfirmed reports that same action took place here in Washington, D.C. Could you confirm or deny State Department expelled the Indian agents serving in High Commission here in D.C. or that that we what, what I'm not so I'm, not, I'm not, not I'm not familiar with this report that we expelled Indian diplomats. Yes, no. Indian agents so who are serving here in. Uh, no, I'm not aware of any such yes. expulsion. No, Brian. So after the killing of Sikh leader Hadeep Singh Nija in Canada by Indian agents, Canadian authorities expelled all Indian agents serving in the uh, Indian High Commission, and they are. All right, viewers, now joining me to share more details is my colleague, Belly Thomas. Belly, uh, the U.S. State Department spokesperson has in fact said that he's not aware of the developments that are taking place uh, in regards with the U.S. also suspending many Indian diplomats after the tensions between India and Canada have also been escalating in the past few days. What is exactly uh, that you are tracking and uh, what is the latest that we can understand from the official stance of the United States as far as the expulsion of the Indian diplomats is concerned? Uh, Simran, uh, the U.S. Uh, State Department has refuted uh, reports claiming uh, Washington uh, is, uh, you know, considering expelling uh, Indian diplomats amid the strained uh, ties between uh, the two countries, India and uh, Canada. So, this, uh, during a press briefing on uh, Tuesday, um, uh, the State uh, Department spokesperson Matthew Miller uh, said that he was unfamiliar with any such uh, report uh, and was not aware of any um, expulsion of uh, Indian diplomats. And earlier this month, India recalled um, six diplomats from Canada after uh, they were declared, um, uh, uh, quote unquote, uh, persons of interest. The, the, the Canada calling them persons of interest. Um, uh, that's, a, uh, that's what uh, the term used by the Can uh, Canadian government in the investigation into the killing of uh, Khalistani terrorist uh, Hardeep. Nijar. The U.S. also reacted on the case of uh, uh, Vikash Yadav, a former employee of the Indian government in connection uh, with his alleged uh, role in directing a uh, um, foiled plot to assassinate uh, Khalistani terrorist uh, Guru Patpan Singh Panun. Uh, being asked about the Yadav's uh, possible extradition, um, Miller said that the extradition matter comes under the prerogative of the U.S. Uh, Justice Department. Uh, he also mentioned that the U.S. has been in dialogue with the Indian government on this issue. The State uh, Department spokesperson, uh, Matthew Miller, added that um, India had sent a delegation to the U.S. two weeks ago to brief officials on the status of their investigation and that the U.S. made it clear to the Indian counterparts uh, that there would be a real accountability. All right, Billy. I'll request you to kindly stay on with us on the broadcast while we also get more updates and uh, important uh, news breaks coming at this point of time. On the disengagement of Indian and the China